Here is a review of the clay techniques that we learned the last couple of weeks. Um, you can use this with Play-Doh. You can take these techniques and use them with actual clay. If you have clay like Model Magic or you make some salt dough clay and you want to let it dry out and you can save it and you can paint it. But you can also do it with Play-Doh. So let's talk about some of the things that we can make. So when we start with our clay, it has a lot of cracks in it and fingerprints little like bumps like that and it starts to fall apart. The first thing I wanna do to help with that is to squeeze it in my hand. And I like to keep my fingers closed. And when I do that and I can squeeze, I turn it around a little bit in my hand as I squeeze to put all of those cracks away, to get rid of all of those cracks. And I squeeze it really good. So I'm squeezing and turning, and then I can roll it in my hand together like this. I like to kind of make my palm a little bit like a cup. And I like to think of this as like a princess wave. All right, and I put my hands together like that. And you can also go like this, same thing with your hand, fingers together and roll it on a surface like a table or on top of a book. All right. And you should create then a sphere. A sphere is a 3D circle. It looks like a ball, but remember that's a PE term. We don't use that term in art. We call it a sphere. Okay. That's how you make a sphere. We're going to need this later. It's a very uh, good place to start when we want to make things. All right, if you take your sphere and you place it on a hard surface and then you put your palm on it and you press down and then you might want to turn it over one more time and press the other way. And you flatten, make it smooth, make it even. That's called a slab. A slab is what artists use to create tiles. You might see some painted clay tiles at restaurants on table surface or on the wall as decoration. Um, you might see tiles in your bathroom or kitchen, maybe on the wall, behind the stove or by the bathtub, maybe on the floor. Tiles made out of ceramic, tiles made out of glass, but tiles made out of ceramic are made out of clay, okay? So tiles are great. These A lot of times we don't see circle tiles, what, what happens is, is that artists create this big flat piece of clay and then they cut it into usually a square, sometimes into rectangles, sometimes into other shapes too. But that's how they make tiles. And you can also put textures into it. Remember, texture is what something feels like. So you could create textures like that. Or you could take a bumpy surface and press the bumpy surface on top, or you could take it and press it on top of a bumpy surface and see what kind of texture you get. We'll talk more about that soon. So that's called a slab, all right? But let's not, let's like try to see if we can make another one. Let's squeeze it back up. Go back to our big clump or our sphere. And what we can do then is we squeeze it up, right? We wanna get rid of all the cracks and then lay it onto the surface and then take your palm with your fingers closed first and roll it back and forth, forward and back. And then as I go, I open my fingers and then it starts to get skinnier and longer you can do it with two hands, forward and back. And the more you press down as you're doing it, right? And you get your fingers more open as you go. So I start closed and then I have them open. I might even want to move my hands further apart as I go. You're going to create what's called a coil, right? And artists make long coils and they can make a spiral with a coil. We know a spiral is kind of like what looks like a tornado. We draw spirals sometimes in our artwork. 
But what's really cool is that artists make really long skinny ones and then they curl them up on a big stack. And that's another way to make a cylinder, all right? And it would smooth it out. We'd make it a lot skinnier, but this one's a lot of fun. There's lots of cool shapes you can make with a cylinder. You could make a heart. I'm sorry, you can make a lot of shapes with your coil. You can make a heart. You could make a smiley face. You could make this and make a spiral. You can make it skinnier and make a really elaborate spiral. Lots of really cool stuff. All right, so we'll, we're gonna find that handy later too. We can use that to decorate. All right, let's go ahead and make a pinch pot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze up my clay again, get rid of all those cracks, keep my fingers closed. I don't wanna squeeze too much, I wanna kinda press it together, right? And get rid of those cracks. And then I'm gonna roll it and I'll roll it on the table. Kind of have to press down while you're rolling it. And you notice how my hand is moving in a circular shape. If I go forward and back, then I'm gonna get the coil. But if I go in a circle, it should create that sphere. All right, once you do that, then give yourself a thumbs up because you have a beautiful sphere. Take your thumb and stick it right into your sphere. Look at that, you got an afro, very cute. All right, take it off your thumb and you're gonna see a hole. It does not go all the way through. That would be a donut. We do not wanna make a donut, all right? What you're gonna do next is you're gonna take your thumb, put it back in, but this time you're gonna get your pinchers and you're gonna pinch the side and you're gonna turn it and pinch the side again and turn it and ah, you're gonna pinch all the way around. Sometimes it creates a crack when you pinch it. Just pinch it back together with two hands. Okay, you can pinch all the way around. And sometimes it gets really chunky at the bottom, really thick. So you can press it into, can press it into the table. If you press it into the table like that while you're working, it'll make the bottom very flat. All right, it'll be very flat bottom. You can add some little sphere legs onto your pot. You could do all kinds of things. And if you keep, if you pinch kind of and pull it upwards, then your pot will be very tall. You can roll it a little bit this way as you go if you want to make it smooth on the outside. Again, if you hit a crack, Pinch it back together. You have a little pinch pot. You have a little place to store your money or your candy. Now we can't do that with Play-Doh because Play-Doh would dry out and get really messy and little crumbles. So if you had real clay, you could save it, let it dry and paint it. But this is Play-Doh, so we're not gonna let it dry. We wanna keep it uh, fresh in a bag or a container so we can keep playing with it again in the future. So that's how you make a pinch pot, okay? How you, how you can make a little pinch pot face is smoosh it back up, smoosh, 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 smoosh. Take a bunch of it, maybe half or a good amount and put it off to the side. Save that for decorations, okay? This part will make into a pinch pot. I'm gonna make it a sphere to start and squeeze out all the cracks. And make a sphere, put my thumb into it. I have my hole that doesn't go all the way through. Then I get my pinchers and I pinch and turn it and pinch all the way around and go kind of fast in that part. Close up all those little cracks there. We want it to look nice. Right. And then instead of holding your pot like that, you know how we want to put something on the inside, turn your pot on the side like that. And I like to press it into the table a little bit. 
press it onto the table. Now it looks like a mouth, okay? And in order for it to really look like a mouth, we need to add details. So I'm gonna make a little pinch of clay there for that one eye, and I'll make a pinch of clay for the other eye. So let's roll those up and make little spheres. All right, and you pinch that on there. What's tricky is they don't like to stay. So you're really gonna have to put your finger inside, hold from the bottom, and stick that on top. And we'll roll up the other eye. You could keep them the same size, or like on this one, one eye is a little bit smaller, which is kind of funny. All right, and then you take your trusty pencil and you can put a dot in there that looks like the pupil. And now you have a little face, but you can add some more de details. So let's put, let's get a little bit. We can make a couple of these teeth. So I'm gonna start with a sphere. All right, I'm gonna make another sphere. You could make, right, you could sort of pinch it. I like to hold it like this and then pinch it that way and then turn it and pinch it that way. And you can make yourself a little tooth like that or you could sort of pinch and turn just on one side and turn it with your other one and make like a sharp tooth, ooh, right? So you could have a rectangular prism or you could have like a cone for a teeth, right? And then you stick that on there like that. So we'll have one of each. And I'm just, it's tricky to get them to stay, but I think you can do it. And that's what that looks like so far, looking good. We need a tongue. Always, the always monsters are always giving their tongue out. That'll be really funny. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna make a, what's called a coil. Let me move this back a little bit. You make a coil, right? But it looks more like a baby carrot. It's nice and thick. And that's pretty handy because then when you smoosh it down and make it into a slab, it will look more like a tongue. And I'm gonna stick that in there. We might have to open the mouth a little bit to reach in there and not ruin the teeth. And I press it down. Oh boy, that's gonna be great. Okay. It's fun if you take a pencil and go down the length of the tongue to create that little line on the tongue, all right? You could add ears or horns or hair. I've done eyebrows. You could make your ears like elf ears or you can make them sort of like rounder slabs. A lot of really funny options. So there's a lot of fun that we can have with our pinch pot by decorating it. Oh my goodness, so much fun. Oh, I lost a tooth. It's like a first grader. They're always losing teeth. And there's my little face. See what you can come up with. We'll do some more of this in class.